Yo, what's going on gamers, coders, speedrunners, and all-around game enthusiasts? This is Joystick Justin here, and today, we're going to start with episode 4, or part 4, of the Donkey Kong 64 Let's Play. I want to start with Tiny Kong and Lanky Kong. I want to unlock some of their, uh, their uh, items. And I'm going to start by getting their instruments and their guns, and there's a few upgrades they can get, so I'm going to come over here. Uh, she has a saxophone slam. That's her instrument, that's what they call it. And so, uh, that's, everyone has their instrument. That's her instrument. Um, next, I think her gun is a little bit more important than her, I don't know if she has an, a special ability, but... I'm not sure. Well, I'll go to Cranky Kong in a minute. First, I want to get her gun. And her gun is going to be useful... Probably going to be more useful than any other item that I can get for her. Also, Lanky Kong's got a lot of coins everywhere, so... Really, really quickly, we're going to be able to get him fully upgraded. So... There's five coins there, and I'm pretty sure, like, right beside Cranky Kong's place, there's more coins. So, let me go to get Lanky Kong. I can, I'm pretty sure I can unlock all of Lanky Kong's stuff. Yeah, see, there's all those coins in that corner right there. Let me switch to Lanky Kong. Box can just tell me that I can find five golden bananas. Every Kong can find five golden bananas in every single level. So there's four coins here. I'm not sure if he has an upgrade for Lanky for, for uh, oh maybe he does. What's it gonna be though? Handstand? Yeah, it's gonna be a rank stand, which is really useful for a lot of the different things you have to do. So he has no more upgrades for Lanky Kong. So I'm gonna go get his. Ooh, there's some bananas here. I'll get a few of those. I'll get them later though. Let me go over here. Because over here we have five coins. So this is enough coins to get his uh, his gun and his instrument. And then we'll be out of coins again. I'm just buying a bunch of upgrades. And then I'm planning to do the beetle race. And if you don't know what that is, something that Diddy Kong has to do. Sort of Diddy Kong has to do. He has to unlock it, but then I'm pretty sure Tiny Kong goes and actually does the deal race. So this is what I just got from Cranky Kong, that handstand. So then if I come over here, we'll see... Uh, what's his instrument? I think... Yes, he's a trombone. Sorry, I guess that's a spoiler, but... I mean, get in the building. Thank you! Yes, so here's his trombone. Trombone tremor. So that is that's his instrument and I'm pretty sure that's all the upgrades I can do for now until I find more coins for Tiny Kong. And then we can get Tiny Kong. I'm not sure if she has anything in Cranky's lab. But let's go to Diddy Kong. And let's yeah, let's go and, uh, let's get the beetle race going. Now there's a bunch of other things I can do, but we're going to start with the beetle race. So, yeah. Uh, let me just, uh, defeat that guy. Oh, yes, Tiny Kong needs her, yeah, that's what she needs from Cranky Kong. So that's going to be a little bit difficult to get, but I'll manage it. So all these little things, you can hit them with his stick. You can't just like, hit them normally. So like, if you go like this, it won't do anything. But uh, if you go like that, then that'll do, what you, that'll do what you want it to do. Don't go off the area, thank you. Boom. And there you go, so... This giant tower looking thing comes up. There's not much you can do on there other than just grab this golden banana. 
Um, I did realize that there's a bunch of uh, banana bunches on top of these trees that I can get. Um, and then I guess there's one more thing. Uh, I can use the jetpack and get a lot of stuff for Diddy Kong. I'm not too worried about taking damage on this sand. It's not gonna, it's not gonna take all my old melons away. Um, all right. So if I come over here, I wanna grab this. Um, yeah. So that unlocks that for Tiny Kong. And what I just did there was a little trick to not take fall damage. Ah, oh, I thought I could make it without taking that extra watermelon of damage. Um, yes, yeah, so the trick to not take damage is use your attacks slowly. I'm not sure if I'm doing a good job explaining that, but... Uh, so I think if you go through this thing, it's either three or five times. It unlocks something. We'll see what it is when we get there. Yes, yeah, the bird. The bird is what it unlocks. So the bird, you can like do a little race kind of thing with him. Her, it. I don't know what kind of bird this is. But also, this thing is like this is a fat bird. I don't know if those like those wings are decently sized, but I'm not sure if that bird should be able to, to fly. Ah, freedom. Thanks, Diddy. If you fancy to test your flying skills, come see me at the Jet Barrel. Um, sure. Let me just grab some more of these. Okay, here he comes. Let's do it. Alright, what are you gonna say to me? Oh, here you are, Diddy. I thought you got lost. Follow me around the level and fly through all the rain I leave behind. If you want, if you want to win a prize. Also, I'm aware we have one viewer. The reason I haven't said anything is because this one viewer is not talking. But hello, Mr. One Viewer, or ma'am, or whoever you are, because I don't know who is watching. But here we go. Um... I also want to grab... that's a banana bunch that I can grab. I'm already at 76 bananas in this level. That one's really fast. Hey, this bird's not flying fast enough for me. Uh, this uh, jetpack ability takes some practice, but for me it's muscle memory because I've done this so many times. Um, and I mean, it takes some concentration, but honestly, it's not that hard if you if you really get used to it. So, nice flying, Diddy. Let's see what fries. That banana's a prize. Okay, and then I think there's some. There's one more thing that I can that I need the jetpack for. Um, it's on top of one of these buildings. It's not that one. Um, yeah. Diddy Kong has this little face on this, so let's see. I'm not sure what that unlocks. Oh yeah, that's a thing. Um, he says feed me. So, uh, I wonder what kind of food. What, which, what, what can we feed him? I mean, there's bananas and watermelons and a lot of different foods in this game. What kind of, uh, what kind of thing can we use to feed him? You might be surprised for me to tell you that it's his gun. He shoots peanuts out of his gun, so of course... I mean, it's probably not a surprise. So... Basically, I think you shoot him in, in his mouth. Three to five times. I need to like aim this properly. There we go. I 
I guess it's five times. Oh, that's what that unlocks. Yeah, so at the end of the level, I'm gonna come back to do that. But now, it's time for the beetle race. Which means I need... I need, uh, I need coins for... Tiny Kong. So where do I get coins for Tiny Kong? Because I need her other upgrade. Um... Let me look around. Oh, well. I don't have to look around, I found some. That's all I need. I'm not sure where that goes, but... Whatever. Um... So I'm gonna go to Cranky Kong and get her upgrade. Uh, Cranky Kong's number three. Cool. So her upgrade... I've perfected another of my potions. Cool. Give it to me. Tiny, yep, mini monkey. Kongium smallest. Cool. So that turns Tiny Kong into a tiny, tiny ear Kong. Tiny Kong becomes a tiny ear Kong. I'm not sure if tiny ear is a word. Smaller is probably the better word. But. I'm not sure if I can even... Who knows, we'll see. Um... So what I have to do... I mean, Squawk told you how to be tiny, but I mean... It's pretty simple. So, you have to go over here, and then play your musical instrument on this, and that will get you on top of the... on top of this area. So if you're big, Squawk can't grab you. Squawk, hold tight! Yeah, so, once you get to the top, he'll just drop me right in. I know this fox boy or girl, but, yeah, there you go. And then in here, you can race as Beetle. Oh, it's only you, Tiny. Well, if you can beat me to the bottom of my slide and collect 50 coins, I suppose you can have my golden banana. Use that to steer. Okay, so I have a strategy. A lot of people would just say, smack her a lot at the beginning. No. So you spend a lot of time in the beginning of the race being slow. Don't be too slow, but like, slow enough. Just stay behind her and collect as many coins as you can get. Focus on coins for the beginning portion of the race. But try not to fall too far behind, because you want to like, not lose the race as well. This is probably, uh, anyone who's, uh, got seizures might not be a good thing for them to be part of. I mean, there's a lot of seizure-inducing things in this game. So, there's a certain part, and when I get to it... I'm not sure if it's this one. It might be this one. Yeah, so, speed up. As fast as you can. And stay full speed this for the rest of the race. And stay just ahead of her. Because we've already spent a good amount of time just collecting coins. Uh, and we almost have 50 coins already. Just try to collect coins, still. But also try to stay ahead of the beetle. And also don't fall off the edge, this is an easy way to fall off the edge. Wow, so I lost the race. So... Wow. Um... But that's the strategy you use. That's probably the best strategy to use. So, I'll come back after I just Look at that. Alright. We're back. We're back. And I did it that time. So, that took three attempts, but the strategy that I just showed you works. It does work. And there's a lot of other strategies that don't work. 50 coins is a lot of coins to have to defeat that level with. Um, so, now, um, what I want to do is I'm going to take Lanky Kong into the area that he was 
trapped him. If that doesn't make sense, so I mean it'll make sense in a moment. Okay. Um I'm not sure where the thing is to enter this and it's right there. Cool. So now we're in there. There's a lot to do in this area. Especially a lot to do with Lanky Kong. I think there's two there's two bananas in here for him. There's a lot of bananas in here for everyone. But I know there's two in here for him. There's a lot of uh, smaller bananas for him too. Let me collect all of these. A lot of mini bananas to collect throughout this game. Um, and there we go. So there's, I mean, that's not a lot, but there's a lot more. Um, I'm gonna enter the area who was trapped in because I remember last episode there was. It's not here. Um, but last episode we saw that there was um, a banana balloon. In this area, and I remember, like, last time I kept calling them banana bunches. The banana balloons are banana balloons, not banana bunches. Um, there's two of them. That's kind of insane. Hello, can you get hit by these drapes, please? Thank you. There we go. And then... I guess, what are we going to do next? Um, there's a bunch of stuff I can do, but I think I think I'm going to. Hello, can you grab? Thank you. Um, I'm not sure what's in here. There's a bunch of stuff. Okay, that's for that's for Lanky Kong. Can you leave me alone, Mr. Reptile thing? I think this opens up the dragon-looking dudes. Yep. So these guys open up, and then come together at the top, and there is a... I don't know what that is. A mini game barrel? I'm not sure if we've done a mini game barrel yet. So here we go. Mini game barrel. Cool. That's the mini game barrel. Oh, these ones are easy. So basically, this the snakes with their turtles they get tired eventually, so you have to keep feeding them. I mean, it's a really simple and easy game. Just keep throwing stuff at them. And I mean, a challenge to do in this mini game is to try not to let any of the snakes say help. But I've already failed that. But this mini game keeps it, it gets a lot harder. Because like these guys they take so much less time to to run out of their spinning on these turtles. But there you go. And there you go. So that is Lanky Kong. Um, there's one other thing. There's a bunch of other things, but I guess I'll come over here. That's the wrong side. Just threw a bomb for nothing. Um, so over here, if we climb up here, there's a new area. I've never been up here before, in this let's play, of course. And here... Um... More coins for Tiny Kong, that's useful. Wow, I think if I'm too close, it doesn't even come out of the gun properly. But, there you go. So we've entered this area. So this area is interesting, because... You have to kill all these enemies. <laughs> that's f that's funny sounding. I'll be back when I get back over here. Alright, I'm back, and instead of actually going back into 
angry Aztec. I'm going to do this. So, getting 101% completion. Yes, you get 101. You need these banana fairies, and if you collect all the banana fairies, you get a bigger banana. It's not like it's a golden banana, but it's a really big golden banana. So, I want to unlock this. And there's also this that I can get now. So why not? Did I not hit it? Hello? Hello? Can you... There we go. Somehow those feathers are hurtful to everything they hit. Which is interesting. So... Um, yeah, so you become tiny. I can to get tiny. And then... You can enter here. And there's this big fairy. Let's talk to her. Oh, I just don't know what to do. There was a huge tremor recently and it scared my banana fairies. So much, they panicked and flew away. I'll reward anyone who manages to find them all and bring them back to me. Please help me, little one. <laughs> Calm down, Miss Fairy. My friends and I will look out for them on our adventure. <laughs> oh, thank you. But I'm afraid you won't be able to simply grab them out of the air. The only way to catch them banana fairy by trapping them inside a special banana skin. Banana skin photographs. Here, take my magical camera. It already has some film in it. To activate the camera, press and hold Z, and then press... I already know all this. Take a picture by pressing B. As a sign of our friendship, I'll teach you and your friends a secret ability. Press and hold B to power up this move, and then release the button. Activate it. As well as protecting you, it can also be useful for unearthing hidden items. Unfortunately, it needs a crystal coconut to work, so use it wisely. So, what that just gave us is access to... <laughs> well, we have a viewer on the stream now, Myler's O. Is this Fortnite? Good question. Um, no. Might be a reference that you're giving me that I'm not getting, but no. I hope that's just a joke. But if there's a reference, like if this game is referencing Fortnite somehow without me noticing, that'd be kind of uh, embarrassing. But, here we go. So we're back to Angry Aztec. And with that ability we just got from the Banana Fairy, why is this not Fortnite? Well, you see, I'm about to say the most controversial thing in the world. Fortnite sucks. <clears throat> just said that on uh, live YouTube for everyone to hear. So, the ability that I just got from that fairy was this. And you can uncover these big coins with it. Please write a five paragraph FC explaining your opinion. Wow. Um, so, I'm not in school right now. So, yeah, Corona did that to me. We're not in school anymore because of Corona. So, I will gladly say no. Um, but, what I can do is play a game, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, yeah. So, my question is, do you enjoy Fortnite? Because if so, can you give me a five paragraph essay, essay, essay explaining your opinion? Um, I guess while I'm here, might as well, I might as well, that's not it, there's an area for Tiny Kong in here. That'd be pretty useful if I could use it. Okay. Okay, that's it? You're just gonna say okay and that's it? You're gonna write me an essay? Honestly, I'm probably not gonna read the essay. 
You might be wasting your time. So that this film is used to take pictures of these guys, if I can even get... Yeah, this takes effort. Um, that didn't work. I mean, she's in the film, but she has to be, like, right in the middle of the camera, so... Nope. I'm really bad at this. But, hey. Um, I got her that time. When the fairy disappears, you know that you got her. So, there you go. And she's going to... What, what the fairy does when you get her is she actually like restores all of your items. Including your film, which is kind of overpowered, but hey. Um, so yeah, she gives you back all of your... Um, your ammo and your crystal coconuts and all that stuff. Uh, this is interesting. Lanky Kong's splat is in here. I believe this is the kind of lava that takes one watermelon away from you if you fall into it and it doesn't actually kill you. So I'm not too worried about messing up and falling. But I'm still going to be careful anyway, because it's lava. I'd say as I fall into the lava. Wow, I kind of suck at jumping across platforms in this game, don't I? I missed it by like a mile. Look at how good I am. I did it again. I'm going to be dead before I can even... Like... Do any. Also, those fireballs are scary. I'm not sure if they damage you if you get hit by them, but. Who knows? I got the banana that I came here for. We're getting close ish to having this level complete, but. I guess this is it, actually. Because, as you can see, this video is like probably one of the longest that I've recorded. We got some good stuff done today, so thank you, YouTube, for watching this, and uh, this is the end of part four of Donkey Kong 64 Let's Play. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget, keep on gaming.